Hey y'all, I'm Shamra and I'm here with my girl Sabrina. We are Hallie you Reviews. Two Americans were swept up in the Korean wave as it reaches across the globe. We have a love of all Korean music. We're reacting to Dreamcatcher, Odd Eye, the official MV. This came as a recommendation from many of our viewers. As you know, we're new to Dreamcatcher. We just started mm -hmm. taking a look at their stuff um, over Halloween, but I think the first video you guys saw us react to was actually Scream. Mm -hmm. And we found out that Scream was part of a trilogy, which was um, included Scream, Boca, and Odd Eye. So we've done Scream, we've done Boca, and we're going to finish it up with Odd Eye. And I just, of course, I have an advertisement. Okay, so Odd Eye is the title track off of Dreamcatcher's sixth mini album, Dystopia, Road to Utopia, and the last installment of their Dystopia trilogy, as I said. The track mixes rock and hip hop elements with a piano and a distorted guitar sound to create a cyberpunk vibe. Lyrically, the song questions the utopia that the girls sought throughout the previous installments of the Dystopia series. They ask their listeners to view things from a different perspective and look beyond the surface of things that seem perfect. And this marks the return of member Han Dong, who halted her activities with a seven piece group due to participating in the second season of a Chinese show. And she was unable to return to South Korea because that's when um, okay. COVID-19 broke out. So I'm excited to see her because thus far, we may have seen her in the Halloween version. I think so. But we were so new to them, we wouldn't have been able to tell. <laughs> um, so it's exciting now. This will be the first one where we've seen her return. Um, so I'm excited to see that. And the viewers have said, because they've been super interactive with our hosts, and I'm excited about that. So we love anytime we get interaction from viewers. And they've said that Dreamcatcher kind of has their own unique sound. unique sound like not genre necessarily but that they have kind of like a more of a rock vibe and that they're genuinely nice ladies and i love whenever we hear we members of a group are really nice and you know irl so um i'm ex you know super excited so all right let's take a look I, this kind of reminds me of the um it looks like a high heel. No, it looks <laughs> like the outline of a face. See the nose and the eye and like um oh the side of a mask. The side of like a mask yeah. or um a robot. Okay. Almost. Like um Okay. There's a movie with Will Smith where they do I robot. I robot, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, you're I see it. But at first I'm like I'm you're crazy, but I see it now. No, okay. I'm sorry. No, perfect. I see it. Okay, well, let's dive in. Look how beautiful her hair is. Oh. Oh, you know what? We turned this up really loud. Oh, we did. When we were watching. The billboard. Look at that blue. It's gorgeous. Oh. Ooh. And then with the red and white and black. Whoa. Red is their color. They do a lot of things with red. <laughs> wings and those pastel colors too remember mm -hmm. well, i think the, they use the pastel to represent like the perfectness of the world oh okay that makes sense did you see the fire or the like Ooh. the phone was on fire like that Oh, I like this. The great beat. Yeah. Oh, their makeup artist is phenomenal. Look at the tree of language, though. Like, it looks so, like, darkened. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like there's a lot of almost like holographics. Not really. It's not the word I'm looking for. Maybe like um, we had the same conversation in Moonlight Sunrise. Like, <laughs> Ooh. She's drinking it. Whatever. It Ooh. Is. It's putting like veins on her face. Um, oh. Writing on the face is supposed to be like God of the devil or something, God of God of the dead or something. 
We learned that in one of the Halloween videos. The desire fading away little by little. The trees returning to white. At least in that one scene. <laughs> Hope is fading away. Look at this, the tree burn higher. Did I say tree of life? I meant tree of language. I don't know what I said. That tree is burning. No more utopia. Oh man, in the end, the dream catchers couldn't find the utopia, what they dreamed of. So what happened to the tree? <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness. Wow. What happened to the tree? So does the tree of language, like, is that in another, is that, is the concept of the tree language just done or is that like an ongoing thing with My understanding is that's just part of that dystopia series. I could be mistaken, but I think it's just part of the trilogy that the three. So does the tree die? No. So my question is if they're like telling people in this video, like, so they were searching for perfection and that perfection this, this song, exist. right. And this think, song was that, you know, be careful what you think is perfect may not mm -hmm. actually be perfect. So Love that, by the way, so true. Oh what yeah. A great absolutely. message. Fantastic message, particularly, I mean, and I what love, a great way to portray the message as well. Like, right. And I love it that they're all, at least from the glimpses I've seen, knowing that they're all very nice people, they're also very pretty. So I like that they're saying like, because we always think that really pretty people like, oh, they are perfect. They have this perfect lifestyle or whatever. And I like that they're saying like, even though they're pretty and nice people, like watch out for perfection and, and oh, you can't okay. search for the utopia. Like, cause it's just kind of that idea that the grass is always greener or we always think that like someone has it all together. It's like really... that, that BTS song about the stalkering. Wait, what? <sighs> <laughs> Oh, when they were saying, don't, remember, be, like, don't, don't become be so obsessed with us this, that, you, yeah, that you, you lose, sense, lose of like, sense of who you are and, yes, yeah, you don't you. value you remember your that, life. The song, like, I can't think of the name of it. Yes. Um, and if you hadn't asked me, I would totally be able to tell you, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. So right. any, I'm so bad at that, y'all. I'm sorry. If there are any armies who are watching, let us know. And uh, you know what? I will, I'll put it in um, as a subtitle if find it with editing. Um, and, and obviously it will come to me when I'm not on camera. So I'll just be like, yeah, it was this one, duh. But anyway, um, yes, you're exactly right. There is, they have a message with that as, as well. And I, I love that idea of them saying like, be careful of what you yeah, think is like perfect be because- I do love that. That's a really and great message. I love message, that you know? the word utopia to describe that because- Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. utopia is like perfect happiness perfect and happiness, all that stuff. And, like and everything. If life t teaches you anything, which mine is teaching me right now, is that like the universe can often be completely against you mm -hmm. and throwing things your way. And the universe has been against me for like two years. It's okay. I love okay. to use a tree to portray it as well. Yeah. Because trees have roots and, and then they, they grow and they have seasons yes. and they're always changing. And, the, you know, they they have time of growth and they have time of decay and they have time. Like, it's it's very symbolic. It is very symbolic. And it's the tree of that. language, too, which is really interesting, particularly in today's K-pop. Because this idea of do, do they need to sing in English or do they not need? I mean, this may have nothing to do with it, but it just made me think about that. Like, But no more utopia sing? was in English at the very end. It was. It was. And yeah. so I think that was interesting as well. Yeah. Well, they know that their K-pop is, is speaking to a very broad audience now, and English is one of the universal languages, so it makes mm -hmm. sense. And so. I, I think, again, like... That idea of language. Yeah. That, that idea of language, yes. And how you, how it's all spreading. So mm -hmm. many, many things to like about this. We really enjoyed getting we really enjoyed to it. know Dreamcatcher, and we still have so much more to learn. And um, and can we just talk about the costumes for a minute? OMG. And the makeup. The makeup and the wardrobe of this video mm -hmm. was phenomenal. 
phenomenal. But they've been amazing. Like, they have like been 10 amazing, out of 10 like, for like all from the, the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like, and they do have like this rocker punkish vibe, they I feel do, like. Which I like. Yeah. Which is so awesome. It is. It really is. Yeah. Right. And it does kind of set them apart, especially amongst the girl groups, I feel. Agreed. It's pretty far. I mean, we were by no means know all the groups out there. We're constantly finding new new to us groups. True. But um, I mean, even Dreamcatcher is new to us. Um, but yeah, so far from what we've seen, that's a pretty new a pretty different concept. But I love how they transition from like kind of badass leatherish reddish to like these Those beautiful, beautiful pastel, like, dresses. pastel yeah. dresses and like right. flowy and it's just, it's just a vibe. Like it's so cool. I love it. It just yeah. it's really cool. Way to go. We are really liking Dreamcatcher. So if you are a fan of Dreamcatcher, make sure that you like and subscribe down below. We've had a lot of viewers really interacting with our videos. And if you are new to us, um, then let us tell you that the more a video or group gets interaction on our channel, the more those recommendations go up on our list. And so we play more of them. Um, For instance, we get a lot of Big Bang viewers who like our Big Bang content, are constantly interacting with it, liking, subscribing, sharing, leaving comments. And so they are are usually at the very top of our list of reactions for the week. So if you're a dream catcher, um, Insomnia, that's the name of their fan group, Insomnia. <gasps> so if you are part of Insomnia, may, is that how we phrase it? Is it that you're part of Insomnia or you, if you are insom- Insomnia? Insomnia? If you're Insomnia? I don't know. Let us know. Love See, it. We're learning. So, cool. um, so if you are part of the fandom, uh, make sure that you're continuing to participate, leave comments and everything, and they will continue to go up on our list and make sure you're leaving recommendations and we'd love to check them out even more. So it's true. And if you like dramas, if you like drama, make sure you check out our Halley Reviews website where we tell you which dramas to watch, must watch, or completely skip, y'all. That's right. Until next time. Annyeong. Annyeong.